Hello, Patriots, Americans. How you doing? Well, with all this incentives to buy an electric vehicle, <laughs> what is from the federal government in their city 500 tax credit, which tells you how bad they are that the government's giving you a tax credit to buy it, and not, and, and not for any other car. And maybe your state, depending on where you live in, may give you a little bit of a tax credit also. But the market has spoken. One, these, these are priced too high, they are too limited, and they are big time fire hazard. Go look at the used car market. The resale of these things are terrible. And for every reason, a lot of these car companies have put, have put their investment into this crap. No different are the big three in this country. Chrysler, Ford, GM. But right now you have over a year worth of inventory in a lot and it's not moving. That's just the new stuff. We're not including used. But there was one company, one company that was really smart enough and said, we're not doing this. That company was Toyota. One, the world's biggest car maker. I, I believe they are. They're neck and neck with Volkswagen. And two, the maker of the most reliable and durable cars. For her. For us. And the CEO of Toyota said, the infrastructure of North America and Japan makes it that there is no way everyone can have an EV. And he was right. And a lot of these EV chargers are broken. They don't work. Some chargers are better than others. And he was right. And everyone left the Toyota, ha ha, you guys are going to miss out. And as usual, Toyota was the smartest one out of, out of all of them. Kudos, Toyota. Kudos for, for being realistic about what's offered and what they have. And kudos to listening to the actual buyers of your car's trucks. Oh, Mind-blowing. Comments down below, what's your opinion I'd like to know? Keep the country a prayer, we'll talk to you later.